May the peace of the Lord be with you all, as we bring to you some insights from today's Holy Mass readings. In this video, we explore the core of our readings, seeking their connections and revealing a unifying message. Our goal is to uncover the profound divine meaning within the sacred words we encounter today. Once more, we will engage with the readings and contemplate their significance. Let's now listen to the Word of God. May 15th, 2023, Monday of the sixth week of Easter. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. And sailing from Troas, taking a direct path, we arrived at Samothrace, and on the following day, at Nepolis. And from there to Philippi, which is the preeminent city in the area of Macedonia, a colony. Now we were in this city some days, conferring together. Then, on the Sabbath day, we were walking outside the gate, beside a river where there seemed to be a prayer gathering. And sitting down, we were speaking with the women who had assembled. And a certain woman named Lydia, a seller of purple in the city of Thyatira, a worshipper of God, listened. And the Lord opened her heart to be receptive to what Paul was saying. And when she had been baptized, with her household, she pleaded with us, saying, If you have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, enter into my house and lodge there. And she convinced us. The Word of the Lord Psalm 149 verses 1 to 2, 3 to 4, 5 to 6 and 9. Sing to the Lord a new song. His praise is in the church of the saints. Let Israel rejoice in him who made them, and let the sons of Zion exult in their king. Let them praise his name in chorus. Let them sing psalms to him with the timbrel and the psaltery. For the Lord is well pleased with his people, and he will exalt the meek unto salvation. The saints will exult in glory. They will rejoice upon their couches. The exaltations of God will be in their throat. This is glory for all his saints. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. But when the Advocate has arrived, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth who proceeds from the Father, he will offer testimony about me. And you shall offer testimony, because you are with me from the beginning. These things I have spoken to you, so that you would not stumble. They will put you out of the synagogues. But the hour is coming when everyone who puts you to death will consider that he is offering an excellent service to God. And they will do these things to you, because they have not known the Father, nor me. But these things I have spoken to you, so that when the hour for these things will have arrived, you may remember that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection on the Readings The readings from the Book of Acts, the Psalms, and the Gospel according to John, provide us with valuable insights into the work of the Holy Spirit and the response of believers to God's call. In the first reading from Acts, we encounter Paul's journey to Philippi, where he meets a group of women by the riverside. Among them is Lydia, a God-fearing woman who responds to Paul's message and becomes the first convert in Philippi. This encounter highlights the Holy Spirit's role in leading both Paul and Lydia. It is the Holy Spirit who opens Lydia's heart to receive the message of salvation and prompts her to respond in faith. This reminds us that the work of evangelization is not solely reliant on our efforts, but requires the guidance and intervention of the Holy Spirit. The Responsorial Psalm, Psalm 149, celebrates the people of God and their connection to the Holy Spirit. The psalmist exhorts the faithful to praise the Lord with joy, singing a new song and dancing in His presence. 
the psalm emphasizes that the Lord takes delight in his people and bestows victory upon them. This victory is not achieved through human strength alone, but is empowered by the Holy Spirit. The psalm reminds us that when we align ourselves with God's purposes and allow the Holy Spirit to work within us, we experience the joy of being chosen by God and participating in his divine plan. In the Gospel reading from John, Jesus speaks to his disciples about the coming of the Holy Spirit. He assures them that the Advocate, the Spirit of Truth, will be sent to them from the Father. The Holy Spirit will testify about Jesus and empower the disciples to bear witness to him even in the face of persecution. Jesus warns them that they will face challenges, but they are not to be discouraged because the Holy Spirit will be with them guiding and strengthening them. This passage emphasizes the inseparable connection between the Holy Spirit, the disciples' mission, and their ability to remain faithful in the midst of adversity. The common thread running through these readings is the presence and work of the Holy Spirit. In Acts, we see the Holy Spirit leading Paul to Philippi and opening Lydia's heart to receive the message of salvation. In the responsorial psalm, the Holy Spirit empowers the people of God to praise and worship Him, bestowing victory upon them. In the Gospel, Jesus promises the disciples the gift of the Holy Spirit, who will guide and empower them in their mission. These readings remind us that the Holy Spirit plays a vital role in our lives as believers. The Holy Spirit leads us to encounter God's truth, opens our hearts to receive His grace and empowers us to fulfill our calling and mission. We are called to respond to the promptings of the Holy Spirit, just as Lydia did, and allow the Spirit to guide us in our daily lives. Furthermore, the readings highlight the challenges and opposition that believers may face. Jesus warns his disciples of persecution, but he also assures them that the Holy Spirit will be with them, providing them with the strength and courage they need. This reminds us that we are not alone in our faith journey. The Holy Spirit is our constant companion, equipping us to stand firm in the face of adversity and bear witness to Christ's truth. As we reflect on these readings, let us cultivate a greater awareness of the Holy Spirit's presence in our lives. Let us be attentive to the Spirit's leading, rely on His guidance and draw upon his power to live as faithful witnesses of Christ in the world. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the insights gained from the readings. We seek a deeper awareness of the Holy Spirit's presence. Guide us and empower us to respond joyfully to your call. Strengthen us in the face of challenges and persecution. May we live as faithful disciples, led by the Holy Spirit. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for listening to the insights of today's Mass readings. Please like and subscribe and share with your family and friends. Again, thank you and may God bless us all.